Good afternoon or evening or morning, depending on when you're watching this. My name is Ryan Bloss, and today we're going to talk about this thing right here. The Bitax Gamma 602, very small Bitcoin miner. Now this thing is equal parts Bitcoin miner and toy. It's also a beautiful decoration for your desk. And these things actually have a cult-like following. People love them. Uh, there's all sorts of mods you can get for them. There's all sorts of things you can do to make them run a little bit better. And uh, people like them. And the reason for that is this. These things are purpose-built for solo lottery mining. So think of it like this. It's like a small electronic lottery ticket that you play every 10 minutes, 24 hours a day, every single day, and it only cost $100. This thing was $109 uh, from Solo Satoshi, which is my favorite version built right here in the great state of Texas in the United States of America. Now, a lot of people don't know this about these devices, but they are open source, which means that anybody can build them anywhere in the world. And if you order 10 of these things from 10 different manufacturers, you're going to effectively get 10 different products and you're certainly going to get 10 different levels of quality. They are not all created equal. So these ones are actually tested. They're made of the best, highest quality parts. And I think they're only one of the only options that has a 90 day warranty. So if you buy one of these things and it turns into a paperweight or, you know, stops working or something, or when you get it and plug it in, it doesn't work. You can send it back. They'll give you a new one. So this is my favorite model. I've ordered a few products from them before and their service is great. Products are good. No complaints. Why would you want one of these things? Well, it's because you want to strike it rich. Don't we all want to strike it rich? I don't know why I'm on the uh, via screen here. That's the goal with these things. So what the idea is here is to solo mine for a Bitcoin block. You know, you'll see comments on videos like this of, yeah, that thing will make you one penny a day. Well, it would probably if you were trying to pool mine. That's working with a whole bunch of other miners to solve a block. Once you solve a block and you get the 3.125 Bitcoin reward, you have to split it with all the other miners. And if you're only contributing 1.29 terahashes to that whole situation, yeah, you're going to get a few cents. Not worth your time. However, if you're able to solve a block independently with one of these things, uh, you get like $350,000 worth of Bitcoin. And so that's what people are trying to do. Is it possible? It actually is. One of these things has managed to do it. Small devices have been able to mine. Uh, basically, you know, this thing has one ASIC chip inside of it. And whenever a Bitcoin block is solved, it's actually one chip that is that's doing the deal. It's solving it. People just increase their odds because they've got a bunch of miners like, uh, you know, that have hundreds and hundreds of chips in them. Like the Avalon Q video I did yesterday, the Avalon Q has 160 chips in it. So when that thing or if that thing ever solves a block, it's not all 160 chips that are working together to actually perform that task and solve that block. They're all working independently. Uh, however, um, because I've got 160 of them, I have more opportunities to win, essentially. So the odds right now, and they fluctuate a little bit, are one in five million chance per day. So, you know, it's, again, lottery, lottery ticket odds. you got a one in five million chance of having this thing solve a Bitcoin block and having a little block found message pop up on the screen. And then all of a sudden, you look in your... Uh, your Bitcoin wallet, and you've got 3.125 Bitcoins. So sometimes you have to pay a small fee, maybe 1% or 2% to the solo pool you're using, but who cares? <laughs> no big deal. You still have a whole bunch of extra money, so that's pretty great. And so that's what this is really all about. These things are not designed to pool mine for Bitcoin. You're not trying to make a penny or two a day. I mean, I guess you, could, you can do that technically if you want to, but that's not what they're for. They are for solo mining. They're designed to have that one in five million chance or you know if you buy two of them all of a sudden you have a one and you know your, your odds increase and all that stuff uh, one in two and a half 2.75 million chance um but that's what it's all about and it gives you that little burst of excitement and that's why people like the lottery you know people go buy the powerball ticket which is a big lottery thing here in the united states if you live elsewhere in the world and that's one of the biggest lotteries that we have you know sometimes it gets up to like a billion dollars but people go and they buy these tickets let's say after work and they take it home and they start to dream about all the things that they would buy let's see what i would do i would buy a vacation home and a lamborghini and a couple of ferraris and then i would buy my mother a mercedes they think about all these things and you have that time from let's say 5 p.m when you purchase it until 11 p.m when you find out you didn't win 
you're still granted those six hours to dream. It provides you the dream. And that's what these things are, are all about right here. You know that it's running all the time. And you know, you know every 10 minutes there's a new block. You've got another chance to win. And it's, uh, it's just exciting. You check on it all day. And you know it's working hard on your behalf. It's a little fan is spinning away. Little messages are showing up. And you know it's, it's doing its thing. It's also cool to say that you know, you're mining for Bitcoin. You know, you're not doing it on a large scale. You don't have some huge facility somewhere that's you know, got 5,000 miners in it and a bunch of solar panels and huge you know, three-phase electrical systems or anything like that. You just have this cute little paperweight-looking thing that sits on your desk, but it's fun. And you're you know, contributing to the Bit Bitcoin network. And the other thing that's cool about it is it tends to inspire learning. So once you get into this, all of a sudden you want to learn about best difficulty and hash rate and how the network actually works. And, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely something that inspires a, I don't know, a path of learning about something new potentially and getting into cryptocurrency. Uh, you know, there's some other things you can do with it too. You can mine for other things like Bitcoin Cash. Uh, Bitcoin Cash, for instance, let's say you want to mine for Bitcoin Cash for this thing. You have a 1 in 25,000 chance every single day of getting a Bitcoin Cash block. Now, same deal, you get 3.125 uh, Bitcoin Cash uh, instead of Bitcoins, uh, which is worth like 1,800, 1,900 USD. The prices are going up, so it may be worth about 2,000 uh, as it stands right now. So 2,000 United States dollars, that's still pretty cool, and you have much better odds of doing it. And again, if you get a few more devices, all of a sudden your odds increase. So that's generally what you see. Somebody goes out and they buy one of these things. They put a bigger fan and a bigger heat sink, and they get it to make a little more, you know, it's a little more powerful all of a sudden, a little uh, upgraded power supply, this, that, and the other. Now it's got two terahashes a second, and they see that their odds increase a little bit. So all of a sudden, let's plug that in here. Uh, so now they went from 1 in 25,000 chance to 1 in 16,000 chance. And now they think, well, I want to get another one. So they buy a second one. And then they buy a Nerd QX++. And then the next thing you know, they're buying themselves a, an Avalon Q that's got, you know, it does 90 terahashes a second. And, uh, and it just goes crazy from there. That's exactly what happened to me. So once you get into this, it kind of sucks you in. The excitement of it sucks you in. It's, it's just... It's the thrill of it. You know, maybe this thing will never make a dime, but that's okay. Even if it doesn't, I still like it. It's my little friend that hangs out with me on my desk all day long next to the Nerd QX++, and both of them, they're just working hard all day long. They're trying to make me some money. They're doing the best they can, and they're trying to make some money. And like I said, even if they don't ever make money, I get that enjoyment from talking about it, like I'm talking about it right now. I get that joy from... You know, when I come home, I get to check on it and see, did it, did it solve a block? Did we make any money? Uh, and just knowing that it's always doing its thing, always mining away, trying to find some Bitcoin gold. You know, I love that. That's the, uh, that's the exciting part for me. So is this something where, is it like a, you know, do you want to go and cash out your 401k and buy a bunch of Bitax Gammas and try to strike it rich? That's not, that's not a good plan, probably. Um... This is more for fun. And if you happen to win, you happen to win. But I see a lot of people saying stuff like, ah, oh, it's pointless. You'll never find a block, blah, 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 blah. And for those people, don't buy one. You know, it's probably not worth your time. Uh, but for other people who are just interested in, you know, interesting kind of techie stuff like this, want a cool little conversation piece to stick on their desk, uh, or people who are into things like the lottery and games of chance, uh, for those people, this is really cool. And again, at $100, not much, of a, uh, not much of an investment there, not a big deal. You know, if it was $1,000, that would be one thing, but it's not. I would say, let's see, that's pretty much everything I got to say about this whole deal. There's a million videos on these things. People go really into the specifics of its efficiency and, you know, all that good stuff. And you can find some of that stuff elsewhere. Uh, this is just kind of a basic overview, but I will say, you know, again, I enjoy this thing. Would I recommend that you buy it? If you, if you're interested enough in this stuff to watch this video, yeah, go and buy one because you're already, you've already displayed enough interest in this stuff that, you know, this, you're probably the ideal candidate for something like this, but just make sure you do some research. Um, you know, the solo satirist, I can't say the word today, Jesus Christ. 
The Solo Satoshi version that I recommended, uh, in my opinion, is the best. There are also good versions from like Power Mining over in Europe. I know they make a good version. And there are some other good ones too. There are some other vendors who I'm not going to name. Uh, there's a certain vendor in particular that's all over YouTube and places a bunch of, uh, or puts a bunch of ads and tons of YouTube shorts about, hey, you can buy this thing and get rich. I wouldn't buy from that guy. Every single thing he has is like double the price of every other vendor. I saw the other day they're selling like a little kit for this thing with a fan and with a heat sink. And you can buy this stuff on Amazon for about 30 American dollars. 30 USD. He's selling it for 65. Uh, he's selling the Nerd QX for like $600, and you know a really good one is 400. I don't know what he's selling these things for. Probably $9,000. Who knows? Again, I'm not pointing any fingers or saying any names. Probably a really nice guy. He's making money, so I'm not mad at him. That's capitalism, I guess. Um, but make sure you're doing your research. Don't buy a rip, you know, expensive rip-off one. Also, don't buy a cheap piece of junk on AliExpress. Uh, those things are made from just awful parts. I know all kinds of people, they get those things, they plug them in, all of a sudden they start smoking and shit. There's all kinds of problems with them. Uh, or they just plug them in and they don't work at all. And then you try to return it. It's like, what are you going to do? Send it back to China. And weeks and weeks go by, you're never going to get your money back. Uh, so just buy one from wherever you're at. If you're in the United States, go with Solo Satoshi. If you're over in Europe, uh, power mining. If you are in Canada, um, Jabitax, Jabitax, J-A-Bitax, I don't know how to say it. Uh, I think they are up there. They've got some good stuff. Also, Crypto Cloaks has a really cool version. They've got a modified version that already comes with like the Ice Tower heat sink, an upgraded fan. I think it's got an upgraded power supply. It's a little more expensive, but it's pretty cool. Uh, Tiny Chip Hub is another one that's really cool too. They make their own little version of it. It's got a kind of cool plexiglass display. I think they upgrade some stuff on it. So uh, those are some options if you want to buy a pre-modified version. So a lot of good ways to go. Just don't buy a super expensive one and don't buy a cheap piece of junk from AliExpress and you will be good to go. But this is a, uh, this is a fun little hobby. It's interesting. It's, uh, it's definitely something that's unique i don't think this is very popular or mainstream like this video right now is not going to go i'm not going to become a viral sensation from this video most people don't know or care about <laughs> bitcoin solo lottery miners but because i like them and i think they're cool i'm making a video about it because i like talking about it and i like it and it's interesting to me and so you know you got to make videos and content about stuff that you're interested in or you know you just go and pour milk and cereal on your head and try to get attention in Walmart and get a million views and become a zillionaire overnight like some people do. Uh, or you just make videos talking about this stuff. And you take your 100 views and you suck it up and you just go on living another day. <laughs> so that's all I got to say about that. Uh, I make some other videos about lottery mining. I also have a series right now where I'm trying to make $1 million in 100 days and this is actually part of my plan. I've got a little... Uh, home Bitcoin miner farm. I'm trying to hit a Bitcoin block. If I do, I'll be able to take that money and use it to invest in other things. Obviously, you know, while that would be a huge success and I would make whatever, 300, I guess it'd be $370,000 right now. I'm gonna actually take a look to see what that is. Okay, so the block reward right now is 376,000 American United States dollars. That is pretty crazy. So again, if this thing happens to hit, it's not likely, but if it does, uh, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow $376,000 richer. So that's pretty great. Uh, and I'll take that chance for 100 bucks. For me, totally worth it. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, if you want to watch my little series where I try to make as much money as I can in a short amount of time, uh, give it a watch. It's on YouTube Shorts. I also make some update videos in a, in a long form content here on my channel as well. Uh, but for the most part, I'm just doing daily updates on YouTube Shorts. And I felt like, you know what? I better plug that little series here and hopefully I get a few more views on it so people can check it out and enjoy it and either encourage me in my journey or make fun of me. Either one's fine. I don't care. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it all goes. So if you have any questions about that stuff, leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to answer you. If you need some, you know, help setting some stuff up or you just, just bought one and you're totally confused, let me know. Always happy to help. Uh, you can leave me a comment. You can also send me a message on Instagram, which is over here somewhere. Uh, and I will respond to you and, you know, answer your question as best I can. So 
Other than that, that's all I got. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon.